everyone! So every now and then I'm going to be doing a video kind of exploring Toronto and the different neighborhoods here. And for my very first exploring Toronto video, I decided to do Kensington Market, which is one of my favorite spots in Toronto. I love it a lot. It's got so much character. It's very diverse, multicultural. It's a great neighborhood in Toronto. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so today I'm doing a little bit of Toronto exploring. I'm going to be going to my one of my favorite spots in Toronto, Kensington Market. And I'm bringing my brother, Jamie. Hello! Okay, so you've been to Kensington a bunch of times, I assume. Yeah, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's sweet. It's a, a cool spotteen in Toronto. It's like one of the staple spots of Toronto. Yeah, it's kind of like a hippie spot. Everyone in there is really kind of progressive and, uh, you know, they always fight against big box places coming in. So there's like no McDonald's and there's no nothing and everything's kind of mom and pop and it's been that way since like forever. I was actually reading about it. Um, there was a Nike store that tried to open there and they yeah, protested they it because of it how Nike employees are treated across the world and because it's a big franchise. They would uh, cover Nike shoes in red paint and throw it at the store and the store just didn't open because yeah. of that. So the original plot of land for Kensington Market was bought by George Dennison in 1812. And then in the 1880s, he, he built houses for the Irish and Scottish workers that had to come. I wonder if he was British. Maybe that's why he brought the Irish and the Scots. Hey, oh, <laughs> cheap labor. How oh, things, Patty, get in there. <laughs> then in the early like 20th century, it was mostly Eastern European Jewish people and yeah. Italians. And then um, it was considered one of the poorer areas of Toronto. They used to call it the Jewish market, I think. Yeah, Jewish market. It's like wave after wave of immigrant communities came to that place. Like yeah. that's kind of its defining feature is that it's just like all these immigrant groups, they come in, they move out, then a different immigrant comes in and moves out. And it's been like that for going back forever. Yeah. Now it's like a lot of Rastafarians are there. Like yeah. It's for like a Rastafarian place. So cool. Like the people from the Azores in Portugal yeah. flood Portugal, the islands, because at that time there was like a dictator running the country. Is that how it's pronounced? Is Azores? Yeah, it's not a chorez. Azorsh. Azorsh. It's so hard to speak Portuguese. There's so many shh. Yeah, it's like gish sounds. Ganesh. Ganesh Danza. I think that means chicken dancer. Yeah, have you ever met someone from Barcelona, which is in Spain? Yes, I've been to Barcelona. Do you notice how they pronounce their C's? It's like THs. Like I'm Barcelona. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Barcelona. It's like the Irish. They pronounce their D's as THs. Some of them do. Mom does. Like. <laughs> Mom, if you ask her to pronounce TH, she can't do it. Yeah. And then if you ask her to pronounce D, she does TH. Like she says ladder as She's ladder. Like ladder. <laughs> Get on that ladder. Yeah, guys, it's really good time. And D4, yeah, I'm gonna go play some rugby. It'd be great. First fatality on your channel. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. So this is a staple of Kensington Market. It's been here since 2007. It's a community garden, which is amazing. Let's get a closer look. Rare Canadian garden weed. I think this community is a fan of growing green things in general, am I right? Yeah, Marijuana. I know. I know what you're talking about, <laughs> asparagus. You want a picture by the garbage bin? Well, I have this book. Which one? How to Stay Alive in the Woods. <laughs> of course you do. The real ones, no. I'm part of uh, Weird Toronto. It's a sweet group on Facebook. Just showcases all the weird shit going on in the town. This guy, Anthony Schofield, does all his art all around the town. You see it all show up in Weird Toronto all the time. Looks crazy. He plays like metal and stuff. He goes around trolling cops and shit. And you see his artwork everywhere. It's pretty crazy. So this place is cold tea. You only know it's there from the red light that's on. I've had many good parties there. This place is a good time. If you're in Toronto, check it out. What is 
technically Chinatown of Toronto, but this is such a staple. I've seen so many bands play here. You've played there. I've played there. <laughs> Hard thing, Dad. <laughs> Toronto Pigeon, don't give a fuck. This is awkward. I already feel like, extremely <laughs> stupid. Every person that walks by, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna give them a, a little disclaimer. I'm like, this is not my idea. <laughs> it took me a while to get used to using a selfie stick in person. You're gonna be in my videos from now on, so you no, gotta get used I to it. I did not agree to this. By blood relation. Remember when we were kids? Like, we were not friends at all. Oh, that's changed? Fuck you. Just kidding. You were mean to me when I was a kid. You didn't want to ever hang out with me. No, because you're a younger sister with cooties. No boy wanted to hang out with her younger sister. <laughs> I used to like listen to the music that you liked, even though I hated it. And I was like, I like this. Ugh. And then all you would do is beat the shit out of me. I didn't beat the shit out of you. I asked you to do wrestling moves on you. You obliged. You, I split your lip or something by accident one time. Yeah, it always hurt. I just wanted to be cool. You, you took it like a man. You took it like a like a fucking 1998 wrestler. Remember uh, Jake the Snake? Yeah, that's Dad's favorite wrestler. I liked him. Or Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, Ultimate Warrior. One time Jake the Snake tricked the Ultimate Warrior to get into a coffin, right? Because he's like, if you want to be like the Undertaker, you gotta you gotta overcome this, right? And he got in the coffin. It was filled with snakes. Oh my god! And then Jake the Snake turns around and goes. Never trust a snake. Put my finger directly on the synagogue. Yeah. I can't find it when I look at the screen. I don't like the screen. I don't like technology. Back in my day, we used to have to carry around a big old film camera. <laughs> We'd have to wind the battery to charge it. I had a bit of a, of a, of a Super 8 <laughs> on it, reeling around. Have you seen the movie Super 8? Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Sick movie. The vibe isn't really all there right now because of COVID. It's usually really like bubbly vibe here. People are happy, people are smiling, singing, dancing. A lot of hippies. Lots of hippies. Lots of, you know, marijuana smoking. Smoking those drugs, you know? Yeah. Legal drugs now. Yeah, but it's not even cool because it's legal now. Yeah, like, as soon as it became legal, I gave it up. <laughs> you do drugs? What kind of drugs? <laughs> weed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you hear someone's like, oh, do you do weed? <laughs> it's like, Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> no, mom and dad. I drink alcohol and cry. That what? That's not normal. <laughs> Can you do parkour? Yeah. Should I try to jump down to there? Yeah. This is how I die. <laughs> parkour. <laughs> not parkour unless you yell it while you do it. Parkour. Okay guys, so this is gonna be the hard part of these videos. The whole COVID situation has really put a damper on Toronto, obviously. The vibe is probably not gonna be the same as it usually is, but I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. But thank you for watching, I love you guys so much. Bye.